Hey loves, it's TG for short, not the long way. And grab your glasses or grab your vibe. If you like to pick your brain or into self-improvement, let's go. Just copy the flex. They waiting on my new shit to drop. Where the fuck the toilet at? Sleeping on me crazy shit. Y'all thought I wasn't gonna double back. This life shit here amazing. I'm thanking God for where the fuck I'm at. Don't call if it ain't about the rats. I don't fuck with all that chitter chat. I wanted to make this video because this is the current phase that I'm at in my life. And just been picking my brain and resonating with a lot. So today I really just wanted to speak on celebrating my highs and being confident in my lows. When that came to me, that was something that I was like, okay, I have to write that down, take note. And that's just something I'm trying to constantly remember. So I really just wanted to break down that and just four bullet points that I have, but I did want to dig into just celebrating my highs and being confident in my lows and what that really means to me personally. And personally, it just means to me, whenever you're in your high vibrations or in a good mood, is that is the time most when we do celebrate. And when I am at my lows, just being confident in that by just uplifting myself and maintaining an optimistic mindset throughout my lows i feel like that's also too a part of the duality and just life itself and just balancing your emotion the highs and the highs and lows of your emotions that's just the duality and balancing the two that's what that's just what era i'm in in my self-improvement era just bettering myself i feel like i'm celebrating my highs and just remaining confident in my lows and for my first bullet point, for my first note, I just really wanted to touch on pushing myself past my comfortability. And that just really being challenging my introverted ways. I personally am a homebody and just very to myself. And growing up, I was that child that was always in my room and just to myself. And it's like, now I'm just learning really how to be in the world. Not of it, but be in the world. And that's just something I feel like pushing myself past my comfortability has helped me and will continue to help me do throughout my journey of basically bettering myself and self-improving my mindset and just different perspectives on ways that I see things, people, life in general. Number two, reframing my mindset. So... Yes, a lot lately, that's what I've been doing, my affirmations. I've always been into my affirmations and listening to my affirmations, but I was slacking on them for a while, but lately I got back into them and just reaffirming myself of who I am and who I'm becoming, constantly reaffirming that to myself, who I am and who I'm becoming and working to be throughout this life. I feel like that's the main part in being confident in your lows is, is reframing your mindset and taking note of how you feel and willing to reframe the perspective or shift the perspective. For example, I found myself really beating myself up where I'm at, feeling like I could be doing better and doing more. But I also just reframe my mindset and appreciate where, appreciated where I am and how far I've came instead of just dwelling on what I could be doing better and doing more. Of course, I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to do more and better myself and push myself past my limitation of doing more. But I don't want to sit there and just dwell on all the things that I could be doing when I want to focus on doing them, that taking action, taking initiative. That's another part of just reframing my mindset of just taking action on things that I think about. Like, for example, in thinking about doing this video. And after a while, I'm just like, okay, I pushed myself past my limitation because I was thinking about every way and reason why I couldn't do the video or why I shouldn't do the video. And it's just like, girl, the only person that's, the only person that's holding you back is you. Like, why can't you? Why? That's really just what I'm teaching myself and really just pushing myself past my limitations and my comfortability and just motivating myself to reframe my mindset and stay optimistic through the highs and the lows because like that balance in life, I'm not going to always just be happy-go-lucky and feeling good and all that. So I do want to maintain a very optimistic, hopeful energy when I am in my lows as well. 
cheers to that. Because celebrating your highs and being confident in your lows, mm -hmm. cheers to it. <laughs> my third point that I wanted to talk about today, my third point out of the four, not overthinking problems, thinking of solutions. That's something that my dad told me a couple years ago, and that just really stuck with me. I'd say probably about three years ago, that's something that my daddy had told me when I was on the phone with him. And I really just, from then out, I'm just like, okay, that really just goes back to reframing my mindset. That really shifted my mindset and perspective on things that, well, what I was going through at that time and things that I would eventually go through later on. I really, I really think, let's cheers to that. Cheers to Pops for the knowledge. Cheers to that. Because, yes. Yeah, that just really shifted my mindset and how I thought about things moving forward. So, it's like now instead of just dwelling on the problems and tying back to just being confident in my lows. Instead of just dwelling on that problem or that thing that's having me in the low vibration. Think of solution. Think of ways that I can uplift myself or just take initiative to uplift myself or do things or think of solutions in whatever way, shape or form. Not dwelling on little things or things that can just keep you tied to a low vibrational energy or a low a low state. There's no need to keep ourselves in that stagnant energy. You can't do nothing with stag stagnation. Like for example, I've been wanting to create and really make something and get back into my flow. And it's like, okay, let me clean up my space and get myself back into that. You know, thinking of ways like that instead of just thinking of the problem like, okay, I need to be doing this. I need to be creating this, making this or doing this and that. And it's like, let me work with what I got. First, I'll take a deep breath. <laughs> And then secondly, another solution would just be, you know, tidying up around, making, because when you have a clean space, you feel good. And that definitely made me end up feeling good and allow me to be able to take advantage of what I wanted to do, wanted to do or felt like I needed to do. For example, filming the video now. Another cheers to that. Another cheers to that. I keep saying cheers to that, but we sit there cheering through the screen. <laughs> Last but not least, what I wanted to talk about too also, and where I'm at again, once I, like I said in my journey, just being awarely delusional. I just, this came to me with just thinking about the word delusional and being delusional. So, you know, really, I mean, it's some pros and cons to being delusional. It's pros and cons to being delusional. I feel like delusion can be used effectively in the right manner. And I feel like to be awarely delusional to me personally just means, for example, being confident in my lows. That takes a little bit of delusion. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're low or in that vibe, you're not really in a space where you're really pushing yourself to be in a higher vibration. So that's why I say you really just have to be awarely de delusional and kind of stay optimistic in a sense and really push yourself past that that stagnant low state being a worldly delusional too also just ties into confidence in itself being confident when you the confidence journey is a lifelong journey something that you constantly gonna be on because you're constantly getting to know yourself re-getting to know yourself and it's always this new version of you especially when you're wanting to grow and be better and do better it's always a new version of you sit to that you know it <laughs> cheers <laughs> but like i was saying it's always a new version you always constantly reintroducing yourself that new version of yourself or learning a new version of yourself so building that confidence in the sense you have to start off with first just being aware and then creating a sense of delusions um i am affirmations i say my i've listened to my affirmations when i'm in a low state and personally i constantly tell myself that whether i look it feel it anything i am programming my mind and reframing my mindset to uplift my vibration and being awarely delusional can push you to the state where you're just out you're embodying that energy that you were once cultivating while being confident in your love. Yeah, that's what I, I just feel like that is a main part in being awarely delusional and maintaining that confidence while in your lows and building that confidence while being in your lows. Because 
that's the era I'm in. That's the lessons I'm just teaching myself and that I gather and wanted to really share it too. But personally, me personally, I feel like it's important to constantly curate a better version of yourself. That's been the main focal point for me lately and just what I'm trying to do and what I want to do within this life. Cultiv cultivate a better being all around throughout my life. And yeah, my light is currently flickering right now, just out of nowhere. And I don't know what for. Here you spare right here, you clock it, clock it. But that really just sums up the video. I'm glad I ended up doing this big little, you know, update the status. I like to update the status. And yeah, create your content, make your content. Every time I film or do something towards what I loved or intended to do or thought about, when I put action into that thought, I always come out feeling way better than how I procrastinated or just overthought going into it. So that's another thing too. Do what you love and give yourself grace while doing it. I hope you guys enjoy. I really enjoyed filming this and hope I was able to give a little gem or two. These was my little gems and lessons that I'm currently working on and am learning and just took note of and just implementing it to my life daily. And if it helped you in any way, shape or form, if you want to comment, let me know how so. Do that. Do what feels good to you, you know? I'll be back with another one. It's a whole lot of peace, love, and dopeness. Just copy the flex. They ain't on my new shit to drop. Where the fuck the toilet at? Sleeping on me crazy shit. Y'all thought I wasn't gon' double back. This life shit here amazing. I'm thanking God for where the fuck I'm at. Don't call if it ain't about the rats. I don't fuck with all that chitter chat.